Okay, guys, uh, in this recording, I am going to explain another example of a uh, center based uh, power supply. Okay, now, okay, now look at this problem. Uh, you can see uh, for the given center diode. Uh, So a voltage is uh, 12 uh, volt, then the resistance, current emitting resistor, that is uh, 470 ohms uh, resistance. Input power supply, that is 24 volt. So we have load resistor connected. And knee current is given. So the knee current is uh, 1 milliampere, and the maximum current that it can sustain, so that is 50 milliampere. Okay, now we need to decide, like determine the maximum range of load current over which center diode will be able to regulate. So what will be the minimum current uh, of this power supply? Actually minimum power supply, uh, just think we can only have, we only have zero, zero ampere uh, current through the load. This is allowed actually because like, uh, so when we have zero current through this one, so total current will be flow through this uh, uh, center diode. That current will be, so if you calculate uh, that current will be, uh, maybe like I max. So 24 minus 12. So at this time when we have zero ampere current through this one, the voltage through this one, it should be at this point, it is uh, 12 volt. So because of that, so the voltage through resistor, that should be 12, uh, 12 volt again. So now what will be the current through that one? If you divide this by 470, so you are getting this figure. So that is, uh, 0 0.025, 5 ampere. So which is 25.5, uh, milliampere, which is less than the maximum current of the uh, cylinder, that means it can regulate this current. So then for load current, minimum uh, possible value, that is zero ampere. So then we will find what will be the maximum current. Okay, now, so this is the current to uh, resistor because we need to maintain 12 volt around this cylinder diode. And this is the current through this one. Okay, when we have maximum current, in order to have regulation, we need to have one milliampere through center diode. So in this situation, guys, here we need to have uh, I is set. We need to maintain that around one milliampere. So I total, we already calculated. So that is this maximum current. That is 25.5. When we have one milliampere through center diode, what will be the remaining current? So that should be in this situation, this should be uh, twenty five point five minus one, so that gives you twenty four point five milliampere current. Now this is the maximum possible value of uh, load current. So we need to have one milliampere because in order to have regulation, we need to maintain this minimum current. For then second step we calculate, it is maximum possible current, load current at is 24.5 milliampere. Current is limited by the resistor. Now we need to find what is the minimum value of load resistance we have maximum current through load when we have minimum resistance. Okay, now at this minimum resistance, current through the load, that is 24.5 milliampere. Then the voltage, because of this uh, center diode, it will be 12. 
if you apply ohm's law you can calculate what is the minimum value for resistance rl min so that should be 12 divided by 0 0.0245 so that will give you Four hundred and eighty-nine point seven nine ohms resistance. In this way, we can calculate what is the range of load current, what is the range of resistance. So, thing that we need to keep in mind. So, in order to have regulation, Sena diode need minimum current through that one, and also current through Sena diode when we don't have any load connected, it shouldn't be exceeded. Uh, the maximum rated value. I hope you guys understood uh, this calculation. So thank you very much for watching.